Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we have got one system from the user Renz Husky, or Renzki Husky uh, from Discord. Massive so thank you to them for uh, sending uh, their system and it's called the RGB system. So, I wonder if that has anything to do with the uh, red, green, blue colours or anything along the lines of that. Um, so... Yeah, pretty good. And also, just an update for everyone watching as well, the chat where everyone uploads their systems, I've only got two left on that list to do now, I believe. Uh, two to four, if I remember right. So, yeah, we're almost there. So that chat should be open next week or the week after, hopefully. So, yeah, pretty exciting stuff because we're going to get a whole new set of systems in, all made in the latest version of the game. So, should be, um, should be exciting stuff. But anyways, yeah, let's get on to the system. So, go to uh, probably last modify. Okay, so RGB system. Let's see what we got here. Do not unpause. Ooh. Okay, so that's the only thing we've been told. So, what is this all about? Let's zoom in. I knew it had something to do with colours. Red, green, and blue. Okay. how cool the stars look in this version of the game. Oh, that's so cool. Right, uh, where do we start then? Orbits? Oh, right, oh, right okay. Ooh. I guess we'll start at red. Because red is R, G. Yeah, so red is the first one. So, one sun. It basically is the sun by the looks of it. Okay. Can we have green in a binary with red? So, looking good. All right. RGB G1. So I guess the starlight here is gonna look really weird. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh my god. Look at this look what the starlight does to this thing. <laughs> right. Let's go to that's what it should look like, but with the starlight changing it, it makes the green glow. <laughs> that's cool actually. We've got blue, green, and red all lighting it up. It's a very, very bizarre star system. I mean, I imagine let's just land here. No, I land on the north here. Okay, so. Blue star in the distance over there, that's the furthest one away. Then nearby we have that. If we look slightly over there, there you have red. So, pretty crazy exotic stuff this is. <laughs> Alright, next up we've got RGB G2, so a second green object. Oh, that blue star does really make it crazy, but yeah, there you go. Nice. So, object free. Again, completely tinted by the starlight colours. This one looks to be an Earth light world of some kind. Let's have a look. Alright, okay. So that's what we got there. So we can see bits of ocean, atmosphere and clouds to boot with it as well. See if it's got any stats, which it does. 1751, okay, pretty good for a three star system. Very high temperature though. And it also has a moon. Oh, it has a moon with a moon as well. Whoa, that looks pretty exotic coloured with the ice on it. So that's all a white patch, but obviously the stars make it very... Uh, it was got a whole rainbow there with a red star, goes into yellow, green, and blue. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. Okay. And then also the moon. A moon of a moon. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Okay, so next up we are taking a jump to RGBR1. So we've got a bit of a crater going on there by the looks of it. What's that all about? Looks like a huge crater mark buried there. Uh, let's see. So underneath, looks like there's a bit of a visual glitch, but just ignore that. Okay. So let's check its stats out. 81 and 6. Okay. 53 degrees here. Okay. Also has a moon of its own. Very exotic. I mean, the moon colours themselves are pretty exotic. When you put the starlight on them, they look even crazier. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Right. Okay. Another exotic coloured object. Look at this. Oh my god. This is very disco-y, funky neon colours going on here. Very, very nice. So, there it is. Pretty cool. Uh, object 3. It's quite a nice looking one, actually. With the blues. Looks very nice. I really like the way this one looks. It's a good looking world. Light blue lands, deeper blue ocean, white storm clouds to go over it. It's a good looking planet. Do you like that? 93 and 70. Cool. Very, very nice. 
All right, next up, we're taking a jump to... It's a Barry Center there. Um, we're going to the Blue Star. So, very, very bright stuff indeed. Okay, so it's got one or two planets in orbit, the Blue Star. So, obviously, blue is the main uh, light. Oh, it looks so weird like that, doesn't it? Oh, my God. 299 degrees. Put the zone on as well. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, so the Blue Star is pretty, uh, pretty powerful then. So that's two masses of sun. It's 25 luminosity. So the green star is only one, and the red star is also one, effectively. So the red's the dimmest, blue's the brightest, by a long way. Okay, cool. So Barry Center. So what is this all about? What's going on over here? Whoa, what the heck? Oh my god, they are dangerously close. Interesting. Well, I can see why he says don't press play, because we know what's going to happen if I press play here. This is doomed to fail. <laughs> Gummy, Palawa, look at that. Look at the exotic colours. These are glitched as well. These must be glitched. Look at this. <laughs> oh, flashlight, just to see. Yeah, these are definitely glitched. I mean, look at that. It's a cool looking world, but very, very crazy looking stuff. And the starlight just makes it look even crazier. Damn, that's a pretty... It's been a while since we've seen like, a glitched looking object. Okay, there's another moon. Was there a third one? Yeah, there's Gummy. This one has quite glowing, like glowing pink eyes on it. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Wow. So we've got some pretty mysterious stuff in here. It's also got Aussie sets of rings. Alright. Right, then what's this over here? Gas giant. Whoa. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a pulsar gas giant glitch thing. Hey. I remember making these back in the day. Yeah, look, there you go. Oh, it's a magnetic field. Is there an object inside that? I think I want to say there is, but let's have a look. But there was, a, there used to be a way to make any star or gas giant do this. No, it definitely is the gas giant that's got the pulsars. Okay. Ah, nice. Don't see objects like that anymore. Rainbow Deluxe 2.0. Hey, hello. Ooh, ooh! I like. Okay, let's actually have a little comparison between the, uh, this and the one I've got. Let's have a look. I like that. that's cool. Right, where are we? Um, there's the deluxes. So they're here. Uh, there it is. So this is the original one I've got. Okay. What do you think of that? It's looking quite good, actually. Hey. So we're going to look speller. I kind of want to say the 2.0 looks better. I think the colours blend quite nice. It's got some like with the white bands in there as well. But yeah, it's a nice design. I mean, yeah. Why not? Add it to the deluxe collection of objects. That's cool. Nice. All right, anyways. Uh, back to realistic. So there's those guys. What is this yellow trail? What is this? It looks glitched, whatever it is, by the little image. What? Now that is awesome. That's an Earth city map. Look, you can see Africa there. That's an Earth city map. There's the USA. And all of America's. Now that is a very mysterious world. If I can even call it that, because it's actually a asteroid. So it's a funky coloured asteroid with an atmosphere added and clouds added, so... <laughs> oh my god. So... There it is. So is this even obtainable normally? I mean, can you actually play an atmosphere on it? You can. Okay. We've got to try making something like this ourselves eventually. That is really cool. It's like a secret moon base or something. Or just a secret asteroid base. I mean, you get the lights on it. I mean, that's awesome, that is. Really like the atmosphere on it. It's like shielded. That is really, really cool. All right. Okay. So I believe that is the whole system number. What we need to do. Go to this. This is where all the action's at. It's got to be here. We're just going to see. These rings aren't going to last either. I can guarantee you that. Um, the rings are orbiting the barrier center, I'm guessing. Not the planets. So... There's no way. Oh, Gummy's exploding. What's happened to Gummy? It's gone. What's happened to you? It's just detonated. 
Oh dear. Oh. Maybe it's spinning so fast that it's just uh, ripping itself to shreds. Right. Now, are these two going to last? That's what I know. The barrier center should, in theory, work. But is it? Oh, this is dodgy. This is very, very dodgy. Hmm. There's the moon's break. Oh, the asteroids are, or the rings are still working. Actually. Maybe the barrier Maybe I underestimated the barrier center. Go a little quicker. Uh, look onto the barrier center. You can see that's obviously where the center of everything is. Yeah, okay. Yes, look at that. So the gas giants are actually in perfect um, perfect unison there. And actually, you're actually cooperating very well. Okay. See, this, I thought this would have been doomed to fail, but obviously I am wrong there. And that the barrier center is actually working. So the center of gravity. I mean, look, this will go on forever. So that's pretty cool. Nice. But we can see other stuff in this system hasn't been so lucky. We can see... The red and look at the red and green stars going out. They look really cool because they look like a fireworks show. Uh, you can see some of the other planets have been tossed out though completely. But I mean, very very impressive that this is working. The rings are still looking pretty good as well. Oh, that is really cool. Okay, so what's going on over here? Okay, so we've got one object obviously close to the orbit in it. All right, that is pretty cool stuff. Let's uh, see how fast we can go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, help. Oh, no. Zoom out. I look onto that. Oh, I stuck. Don't get me stuck. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, my God. This is very hectic. We're going to go, though. <laughs> oh, maximum speed. Oh, my God. It's actually going to have a close flyby between the two stars, by the looks of it. Or in, in between the star areas. Very nice little binary system going on here, though. Look at that. It says flying past the stars. I don't know if it's going to orbit anything. Yeah, okay. Still perfectly working together. That is really good. That's really, really cool. Very nice indeed. Can't argue with that. That's, that's good, that is. I do like the barrier centre. Wish people used them more, I have to say, because they really do. I mean, stuff like that would never work without a barrier center. So having that barrier center in there to simulate that center point of gravity will fix a lot of problems. So, yeah, impressive. Very, very nice job to, um, was it Renzi Haskoy? I always, I always get your name wrong. I'm so sorry, because I know you've been around the channel for years now. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Renski Husky. That's it. Apologies. But, um, yeah, massive thank you to them for sending in their systems, being a good one. I did enjoy that. And, yeah, the uh, RGB system. Very nice idea. I like it. So, there we are, guys. That does it for this system. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers. And, yeah, leave us a comment down below of what you thought of this system. But, yeah, that will send them. Make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.